Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. Now I have here my Erin Condren Life Planner and I'm about to set up the first week of August. I still can't believe I am saying August already. But if you want to see how I put the first week of August together in my Life Planner, make sure you stay tuned. Alright, so as I said, I am going to be setting up the first week of August in my life planner. So, we are doing, obviously not this week, I missed a week. Um, we are doing August 2nd through August 8th. So, for that, I am using a different kit. I will be using this weekly kit from Paper Crown Planner. This is a printable kit, so you have to be able to print it yourself and cut it yourself, um, which I clearly can do. So I have this beautiful kit. It's called On Point. Um, and I'm going to be using this kind of in honor of my daughter returning to dance again in person. Um, I was able to go watch her dance on Thursday before this week. And it was the first time I've actually seen her dance in about a year and a half, almost two years. And it was beautiful. I mean, she's not like, you know, a prima ballerina or anything at this point, but it's just, I find it so beautiful to be able to see my children doing what they love, right? So when I watch my youngest do gymnastics, and then I watch my oldest daughter doing her dance, and then my son, when he does his hip hop and stuff, it's just, it's beautiful. So I wanted to use this kit in honor of my daughter returning to full-time in-person dancing. So let me just show you quickly. Um, there is there are two pages that I didn't print because I'm not going to be using them and I know what they were um, or I knew that I wouldn't be using them. They were the full box checklists and then some other kind of labels. But you do get quite a bit in each kit. So these are the full boxes. And here you get more full boxes, some decorative headers, checklists, and your Monday through Sunday box. These are the date covers and the bottom washi. These are full boxes and quarter boxes, glitter headers and other headers and some habit trackers. Here are a bunch of icons and little decorative icons that you can use. Some thin washi strips, some bow dividers, and again, some scalloped washi strips. Here you have some boxes that are either with, you know, the bow, the washi tape, or with words. Here are some other various different things. You have some scripts, some post-it notes, some square boxes, um, some labels, some flags. And then the final one has your weekend banner, some flat lays, and a bunch of beautiful deco that matches the theme. So you get so much in a kit. And like I said, there were two other pages that I didn't print. So you get so much in a kit. So if you are able to do... Uh, print and cut yourself. I highly recommend this shop. She is phenomenal. I will try to link her down in the description box below. I know that I used to purchase her kits on Etsy. I do believe she now has a website, so I may try to link the website, but I am talking a lot. Let's just go ahead and lay everything down, shall we? All right, so I'm going to start with the washi as I usually do down at the bottom. Now this washi is pretty large so you do have to be able to cut it yourself to your planner. It is made to fit a variety of different planners. It's not strictly for Erin Condren or strictly for Happy Planner or any other planner. It is just um, to give you the most variety possible when you are printing the stickers. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this. Now, I printed it on my premium matte sticker paper, which does not tear easily. Actually, I don't think it tears at all, um, but it is still beautiful. So we have that. 
and we'll put, I'm going to start at this end just in case I need to fill in at all. So start over here. Nope. Okay. I don't need to fill in. There's a bit of the black line showing, but I'm okay with that. All right. Next, I usually put glitter headers up at the top before I put my date covers. And the date covers are a kind of soft peach color. So I may go ahead and use, do I want to use the pink or the darker tan color? I think I'll go with the pink just to bring in a bit more of the pink. All right, so while I do this, um, it is August already, everyone. I just, I'm still floored about that. That means this is my last month of summer vacation before I have to go back to teaching. I am, I'm like excited to go back because I really missed teaching in person. Don't get me wrong, I loved teaching from home. Teaching online for me was not a problem. I have absolutely no problem with technology. So for me, I loved being able to stay home, you know, and just teach online. But I do miss seeing my students. And because my school board, I teach high school, uh, and my school board said we were not allowed to require the students to put their camera on um, for privacy reasons. I taught to many, many blank screens, and I have absolutely no idea what most of my students actually looked like. Um, and they were grade nines, so it's not like I've seen them before. So I am looking forward to going back in person just so I can see my students, see what they look like, be able to interact with them a little bit more. It is, I'm sure, still going to be very different than a normal year, so I'm not... I'm not unrealistic that way. I know it's not going to be what it was. And I'm okay with that. But it will be nice. Now, um, I have mentioned before, m teachers at my school, I, I'm not sure if it's the same for all schools in my school board, but teachers at my school, we do not get our own classroom. So I don't get to go decorate a classroom or anything like that. Um, I'm assigned a couple classrooms depending on the course I'm teaching. And um, yeah, that's just where I teach. I mean, we can add a few things to one of the bulletin boards or something, but we don't actually get to decorate. I've been watching a lot of, you know, classroom decoration videos from other teachers just because I think it's absolutely fascinating. And I dream of the day that I might actually get my own classroom, but it's not going to happen. But all that to say, uh, even though I don't get my own classroom, I do have an office. I share an office with usually about four other teachers. And um, one of the other teachers loves to stay in, um, well, she actually always teaches in the same classroom because she teaches the same class all the time. Um, so she will actually eat her lunch and do all her things in her classroom. Um, and then the other teachers are usually between offices because they teach in multiple departments or they'll eat in the staff room at lunch. So I end up often being in my office by myself, which, to be honest, is not a problem for me at all. Um, I do have a few colleagues in my school that I do talk to. And I like to, you know, just catch up with. But in general, I like to do my own thing. I like to go to the school, teach my classes, meet with my students when I need to. And then I go home. I'm not a big social butterfly at work. It's just not my scene. And I find we are very different people between the other teachers and I. So, yeah. I don't try to be antisocial. It's just not my thing. And I have such a busy life that I can never go out after work because of, you know, the kids at their activities. So, whatever. All right. The full boxes. Now, we have a few options. This is the first time I've used a kit in a long time. So, from her, um, I don't remember there being extra full boxes. So, I, on, I don't only get these eight. I also get these two, which makes a total of ten. So I'm trying to think which one I want on the sidebar up here and then what I want across the middle. I think I really want to put the 
ballet outfit up in the sidebar because I think it's just too precious. All right, right there. Perfect. So we have that. And I may only use one of these florals since they seem repetitive. And then the rest of the ballet items I will for sure try to incorporate. So let's start off with this on point sticker. And I will put it on the bottom dotted line here just to leave myself more room at the top. This is where I usually put most of whatever's going on. And I think, let's go with this floral right here. Not that it really matters, it's like, you'd think I'm putting way too much thought into this. Um, I do love this musical box. I think it is adorable. My daughter actually does have a musical jewelry box with a ballerina in it. Um, she did get one when she started da dancing and it was a very cheap one. It wasn't an expensive one, so it has since broken. It doesn't really work anymore, um, but she does, she does have one. That's the important part. All right, so I may end up having to use that other floral. We'll have to see. So let's try to get this one down. Um, what do I want to do? I have one, two, three spots left, and I have, yeah, I guess I could use this one. I will do this right here. And I know there's a line on the sticker that's, my printer was being weird for some reason, but since this is just for myself and not for a customer, I didn't, I didn't bother reprinting. I didn't see the need, so I'm just going to trim this one. It didn't quite cut properly. And put it down here. Alright. Last one. Obviously the point shoes are a must. It is the whole point of the kit. Ha, <laughs> see, get that, get that? The whole point of the kit. Anyways, I'm not a funny person, but sometimes I try. All right, so now to actually fill in all of the things. So I need to go through with what I know is going on. On Monday, I have quite a bit I need to get done. I am going to be having, um, I am part of a collab sale, a planner collab sale at the end of August. So I am working very diligently to make sure that I get all of the things ready for that. So I will be working on that on Monday. Monday is also a holiday for us here. Um, I want to say it's an Ontario holiday, but it may be a Canadian holiday. I can never remember which ones are provincial and which ones are national, but I know it is a holiday. So I'm just going to pull, which sticker do I want to use? Uh, that was an American one, so I'm going to use this one. This is an old foil sticker sheet that I had. It didn't work very well, but it does have Civic Holiday, which is what the holiday is on Monday. So I think what I'll do is I will grab a box. Let's go with this tan one, maybe. And I will put it right here. And I will mark that it is our civic holiday. Everything will be closed. But I will still be working hard. So we have that. And that means I can now put... Um, what do I want to put for the fact that I will be working today? Not today, that day. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know. Maybe just a full, no, a half box. I'll put this one right here. So this will be for working on all of the things for my website, for the sale, all the things. So um, that will be good. I wonder if there's print and cut. Oh, I could use that pretty much what I'm doing. Print and cut. Let's see. I'll just put it off to the side because it's not the only thing I'll be doing. 
Um, but it is part of it. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay. I'm just going to put that off to the side. Tuesday is recycling day. So I will, I know there were a bunch of icons. Was there one specifically for recycling? I'm looking at these ones first to see if there's a cute picture. I don't see one. I only see this little recycling bin here. So I will just take this and maybe with a flag. I'll put the flag right here. Put the little bin on it. That is cute. I don't think there was a word that said recycling, was there? Cleaning? No, I don't see one. That's okay. I like it this way. I'll just write recycling day next to that. And then we have dance and gymnastics. No, there's no dance this week. That's right. No dance this week. So, yes, I am still using this kit. However, because of the holiday, they have this week off from dance, and then they'll be back dancing next week. So I do, however, my youngest daughter has her gymnastics this rest of the week, so she does have four days. So I will use, um, well, she'll have three essentially by the time. She usually does Monday through Thursday. Monday's a holiday, so she won't be doing gymnastics that day. I feel like I'm talking around in circles. I was, I wasn't up late yesterday, but I feel like exhausted and I slept in late today, which is, I mean, I'm the queen of sleep. I love napping. I love sleeping. Um, but lately I've been waking up early, so I don't know why lately I'm, I'm, sleeping in so much but I will put the weekend banner down before I forget it because I tend to do that so we have the gymnastics stickers down my nephew who is staying with me if you have been following my other videos has a dentist appointment on Friday so let me go ahead and put this half box up here I thought the appointment was at noon I will have to confirm because I think I think I got the time wrong, so I will have to double check that. And our daughters are going to my in-law's house, my sister-in-law's house, for the weekend. They don't know yet, <laughs> keeping it a surprise, but they are going for the weekend. They're going to go play with their other little cousin, um, go swimming, all that kind of stuff. So... I will mark that with this washi that they will be going that whole weekend. And that way it will leave time for my husband and I to be able to do stuff with the boys, right? With our son and our nephew. Since, you know, sometimes it's hard to do things that will appeal to two teenage boys and two younger girls. So uh, we'll probably do some stuff with them throughout the weekend. Now, I don't think I have anything else pressing. So I have dentist. I have the stay over for the weekend. I don't think I have anything else pressing this entire week other than working on my Etsy shop or website. Sorry. I also have an Etsy shop, but I have been focusing more on my website because I can offer my stickers and my products at a much better price to all of my customers because I don't have all of those Etsy fees. So if you're interested, make sure you check out my website. It's in the description box. Okay, so I'm thinking the rest of the week will just be regular stuff like getting groceries, all that fun stuff. I do like this planner. So I wonder if I can just add this here for working on stuff. I think that's cute. All right, so Tuesday's recycling. So I think what I might do is I might make that a cleaning day as well for those of us who are going to be home. So let me use this 
box here. It's not quite a half box, but it's big enough. And then I will use this cute little cleaning icon right here. Um, where do I, I'll put it in the right corner. And we'll do some cleaning. And there's this computer, this laptop. There's two of them. So I might use those for working throughout the week. So I think I'll do one of them right here and one of them right here because I do have a bunch of work to get done. So I will put this one on Wednesday. I am hoping to release quite a few new products on Friday. I'm not guaranteeing that it will be ready because sometimes, you know, life happens and gets busy. Last time I had, I wanted to have a release, I lost all of my files. So I ended up having to ask my husband to help me. He was able to get the files transferred over, but it put me way behind on getting my release done. So, but I am hoping to release on Friday. So I think what I'll do is I will use this full box. I will put it down at the bottom here. And that will be a hope to release that day. Let's see, what can I put here? Is there... Um, I want to put something that's, like, catchy. What can I put? I want to see if there's like a star or something. Or here, how about this bow? Let's put this bow. I think that's cute. So we'll put a bow. And then hopefully that will be for new releases. I'm hoping, crossing fingers, that I can get that done. Other than that, I don't really have anything else going on. So I think what I'll do is I'll start filling in. Oh, I do have some zooms. Give me a second, let me find those stickers. Alright, so I have my little Zoom sticker sheet. These are very mini Zoom icons. Um, they are available on my website, so I am going to... Um, I want tiny little stickers, so I think. I usually Zoom with some friends of mine pretty much every day. We do work through our Zoom, so they're not just, you know, whatever. We do work, we get stuff done. So I'm just going to put one on all the days. And if we Zoom, awesome. And if we don't, we don't. But I will put it down because we usually do anyway. So let me put that and I will put one here. And then I will put one at the top up here for Friday. I want to see if I can maybe use this one here. No, Friday. This one. All right. So then I'll put these mini icons. You'll see how tiny they are on these stickers. See, they're so adorable. I love it. I do have them in black and white, and I also have them in colorful. I just realized, just using these now... I haven't offered them on clear sticker paper yet, so I can definitely do that as well. If you are interested in clear stickers, I can for sure do that. Alright, so I have my Zoom icon, so that is perfect. And I think that's pretty much it for here. I am going to add a bit of deco just to fill in the bottom because I know I won't have that much going on. Um, and then we'll work on the sidebar. So I think I want to just add this here. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Hold on. I just thought of it. The last time I used her kit, I did this and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Let me put this off to the side. I'm going to use this scallop washi right above the floral. I think it just adds a cute little extra pop at the bottom. Try to line it up properly. I think that makes it look really cute. So we'll do that. 
and put that back there and I'm tearing it and I will go on to this one and put it on this side. I just think it's so cute and it finishes it off because no matter what washi you put down here, you still tend to see a little bit of that dotted black line and it's annoying. So um, this one doesn't quite go to the end, but I am going to deal. I can always put a small deco there. So let me go ahead and put my first sticker back down here. And I will put, I think, this floral. It's very, it's cut very intricately, so try not to tear it. I don't usually leave a lot of white space. It's not usually my thing. Um, I have tried to in the past not fill everything up completely because sometimes things will pop up and you need to have a bit of room. Um, but I know that these days I'm not really going to have a lot so I can take up a bit of the room with some of this deco. Plus this deco is just beautiful. I can't not use it. I really love this ballet outfit on a hanger. I think it's just precious. So I'll do that. I will do maybe these point shoes over here. And I love this mask. So I'll probably put this one right there. I may leave space open on Tuesday because I think we might do something as a family there. And I still have room up here on Wednesday, Thursday. I still have room on Friday. And the weekend I will probably leave open because with the girls gone, we might do some things with the boys. We might take them downtown. We might um, just do some fun stuff. So I will probably just leave that as is for now. So Let's go ahead and work on the sidebar, which is literally going to take two seconds. I just need to see if I have those headers. I don't think I printed them. The to-do and... Oh, I did. Okay, so to-do and important. So I'll do goals here. And then I will do the Monday through Sunday box. This is where I try to list our meals for the week, which I usually tend to fail at quite miserably. But I will try. And then I will put to do right here. And I will put this full box heart checklist underneath that. And that will be for anything major for the week that I need to get done. And then I know there are habit trackers right here. So um, I think I'll probably just put a decorative strip in between here. And then put these habit trackers right underneath. So one and two, and then I can probably finish off the bottom. Let's see, what can I finish the bottom off with? Maybe this scallop here. One of these scallop stickers is adorable. All right, so there we go. We have the sidebar and I have stickers all over my desk. So let me get these all put back together. I had really hoped to use some of these sticky notes, but I just didn't. So, all right. I still have all of these stickers left, so I can still do quite a bit with what's left in the kit. But this is the final spread for this week. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put it all together. I will be going through and adding in everything um, with my Sharpie S gel pen later on, but I hope you enjoyed seeing how I use this kit to decorate this week. 
Uh, as always, if you have any comments or questions or you want to say hi, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much everyone.